today 2nd of January 2019. The News Headline Nimti Kanyu New Year Address, An Activation of Dangerous Soft Power for Hard Results Once again I want to wish the Biafran people a happy new year. Throughout last year, we faced the battle to sustain that. The humorous terrorists tagged on a nation of Biafra never lasted. These we argued on different fronts via of his media. Peaceful rallies and legal means. That failed effort by the British estate to define our modus operandi through. Provocation is worth appreciating. More to be appreciated is. The fact that Chiakwu Kakabiyamu gave us a leader who is. Selfless and daring. A man who is not just leading us towards freedom, but committedly mentoring us into reasoning like humans. On 31st December to be precise, Mazi Namti Kanyu tweeted, with pictorial evidences of his meeting with a strong member of Israeli Knesset, Parliament. In a deep and resounding euphemism, he summed up the diplomatic effort as offensive diplomacy. In my study of diplomacy in the university, the term offensive diplomacy hasn't been seen or heard within the circles of academic straight known to me. Also to note here is the fact that in field of social science, postulation of new theories are welcome hence they are feasible and empirical. His introduction of the concept of offensive diplomacy in the ending part of last year is not just a sharp attention calling for our kind, but to the international community. Such word would have not been taken to be serious if Nimti Kanyu is like some building materials freedom fighters or crab of road mappers who seem to have been lost in the tick forest while searching for road maps. For the fact that Nimti Kanyu is reasonably intelligent, diplomatically engaging, legitimately accepted by his people and politically maneuvering. The world is obviously analyzing as I try to do here, what his offensive diplomacy concept connotes. Could this be a tip of an ice? On 1st of January 2019, on ears of over 40 million persons, still counting, Nimti Kanyu highlighted series of engagements. IPOB is embarking this year. All are good but I must say, that the idea of reaching out to the people via community services and infrastructural building is the most outstanding for the year. If IPOB starts to position in Biafra land, where Nigeria is missing, then the referendum will be great for us. Imagine IPOB engineers fixing the roads, and our medical team giving free but quality health cares to our people, even the Ephelfus will curse themselves for ever opposing Biafra. This is a soft approach I see to yield a hard results when applied. On my 31st night New Year prophecies which was aired via my Facebook wall, I suggested of Biafran's building our own economy. How can this be achieved? Simply by training first. I bob youths into entrepreneurship skills and getting them start up small-scale enterprise through soft loans or grants. Building such will mitigate hunger and desire to get induced by the full any proxies among us. When this is achieved within the IPOB family, it can be spill over to non-IPOB biofriends. The Jews did same in Europe before the Holocaust and the Jewish economy aided seriously in the after-Holocaust lives of the Jews. Biafran Jews can build Biafran economy for ourselves. For betterment of ourselves. No one else has the legitimacy to get such started in Biafra land now the Nipop. The leader talked of engaging with Israeli agro and tech experts to look into Biafra. Good move that Nigeria will fight. Tooth and nail to stop. Nigeria wouldn't want such obvious registration of Israeli assistance to the Biafran people. Fear and jealousy would not permit them, but in same vein, they have a lot to explain to buy friends in the world why she would not want Israel's investors come to buy for land. That will be where the battle will start. And those sitting on the fence would have a choice to either maintain jumping off the fence or jumping in the building.
I can't wait to see these soft but dangerous approaches fully. Unveiled this year. Other innermost thought I feel about this. Move are too scaring and revealing that I sincerely feel is not healthy for public consumption now. Written by Chika.